and it's absolutely awesome and enhances the quality of your life. And uh, that's what it's all about. All right, everybody, week 102 of my bulk, 120 on the bar, seven rep goal for the overhead press here. This will be a PR. I hit 115 last time for a PR. Um, seven rep day, 185 uh, weigh in. I got two more weeks of my bulk, and it's time to get shredded. Another PR, I noticed the stand there. Just raising my arm up just that much, man, to touch the camera right there. <laughs> it's just a little bit, I try to fatigue there, it's a little bit of a challenge. On those first few, felt a little bit harder, I could tell. I wasn't coming up exactly, like, even. I had this arm a little bit over, slightly. I could put a little bit extra weight on just my right arm, it actually made it harder, so. Focus on that, just any little bit of thing off like that, we'll throw it off completely. Happy with the form though. Uh, the feel, what wasn't crazy good, but I controlled it very well. And okay, now that I say that, I'm starting to feel a little bit of pump coming to the side delts there. But during the exercise, I still felt like 100% I was lifting it with uh, the side delts. And you won't always uh, get as great a feel doing lower rep range, but sometimes you will. If I push that even more closer to failure, like if I took another rep, maybe two, depending on how much more I could go, I feel a lot more, like I said, as I'm talking right now, the, the, I could really feel it good there. And the ultimate test is, what does my body feel like the next day or two? Am I getting sore there? Uh, but main thing, I know it's gonna grow again, because my muscle connection, I was pushing with it the whole time, right? You know, I wouldn't let anything else move that weight besides my side delts, focus on that, push with it. That's what's gonna grow because that's what's moving it. And then again, kept the breathing good, breathing good, kept the form good. That's gains, my people. So, more PR, I said it felt heavier. I felt like, wow, this was heavy, heavy. But it's just because I was off a little bit like that, so it made it a lot more on this shoulder side adjust, and then it felt a lot better. Um, I'm, I'm stoked that, man. Keep making these gains like crazy. Keep going up in weights. Yeah, the side depths are really feeling right now. It feels great. But, uh, Keep going up in the weights, man, keeping the form, you know, perfect. And it feels absolutely amazing to come into the gym. I mean, it's just fucking awesome, like, to come here and just progress almost every, literally every time, it was bam, 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 bam. It's freaking awesome, like, I genuinely love it. And I encourage you to, it don't even have to be in the gym. It's literally any area of your life, if you're progressing in it, you see that you're getting better at something, that makes you feel so much better. Like just seeing that you're getting better, seeing those numbers go up, whether that's a, a number in the gym or a number in your bank account, more sales, or you're working on some kind of skill and you see that you're getting better at it. You can visually see the progress, you see what I'm saying? And it's absolutely awesome and enhances the quality of your life. And uh, that's what it's all about, progressing, living a badass life, and uh, just keep getting better, man. That's what it's all about to me, that's what it's all about. All right, everybody, on to Lighting's kind of ass, lighting and kind of ass, it's complete ass. And I'm holding a lot of fat on my lower chest and ass because I'm at the peak of my bulk. So, 
and the lighting's not very good right here, but so not looking amazing right here by any means by the camera. But super stoked with the numbers. I know the muscles packing on are the fat. I'm super stoked to get lean. Like y'all be amazed. I don't know if you're, if you're not used to bulking and cutting, like how you look when you get very lean compared to how you are at peak bulk. You say opposite end of the spectrum is literally night and day. Like I always tell people, like get lean because you really don't know how much muscle you have. You really don't know what you look like until you get lean, basically. Like if I was really assessing my physique, I'd be like, I think I need to build more muscle, which I do want to, right? But I'm, I'm assessing that from my cutting physique where I started bulking from. You get lean, as lean as you want to be, assess your physique there. Okay, I want to add muscle here, 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 whatever, blah, blah, blah. I want to improve this. You work on that throughout your bulk. You don't really judge yourself too much how you look during the bulk because it's hard to tell what's growing and what's not growing while you're bulking because there's so much extra fat and you don't know where you're holding more fat at and stuff exactly. So you can't really tell where the muscle's coming on until you get back lean as you want to again. And then assess yourself there or compare that to when you were lean before and you can see the progress like that. All right, peace out everybody.